Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. I am super excited for this video. It's one of my all-time favorite videos to make all year and it is my back to school prep video. I'm going to be cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and then prepping for all the things for back to school. This video is jam packed with ideas on how to get your family organized and ready for the back to school season. It is also sponsored by Cricut, so I'm sharing how I use my Cricut to label all of their school supplies, make teacher gifts, and also decorate for our back to school breakfast. I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you find it helpful. Now let's get on into all of the prep work for back to school. So the first thing on my list to get ready for back to school is going through all of the kids' clothes and figuring out what's too small for them, what we want to keep, what we want to get rid of. That way I could figure out what kind of clothes my kids were needing for back to school and I wasn't purchasing a whole bunch of stuff that they didn't need. So as I went through Kaysen's drawer, we figured out that he actually had a ton of shirts that were too small for him, so that's mainly what we got rid of. Most of his shorts still fit him great, so when I went back to school shopping, I only focused on getting him some shirts. Now a few videos ago, I actually went through all of my drawers in my bedroom and decluttered and organized those drawers and I shared these little drawer dividers that I have here. They're bamboo. I got them off of Amazon and so I'm using those to organize their drawers while I'm going through and pulling out all of the clothes. But I realized that these were actually too big for several of Kaysen's drawers. I didn't even realize that the drawers were different sizes, but apparently they are. So for Kaysen's drawers, I was only able to use the dividers in this bottom drawer, but I love these things. They are so great at helping me keep my drawers organized. So these are the items we're giving to a friend and then these shirts over here we're actually going to give to Gracie June. She loves using these as sleep shirts. So now I'm moving into Gracie June's room and she was the complete opposite. So most of her shorts were actually way too short for her. So I'm going through the shorts drawer first and I ended up getting rid of a bunch of those and then all of her shirts pretty much still fit her but I still got rid of a ton of shirts that she no longer wears and we're going to give those to a friend as well. Now really quickly, I wanted to introduce myself in case you are stumbling across our channel for the very first time. My name is Amy Darley and we live right outside of Savannah, Georgia. I have two kiddos. You've already heard me talk about them. Kaysen is 10 and Gracie June is 8. They are in the 5th and the 3rd grade. So they just started back school, obviously, hence the video. And then my husband's name is Chance and I always get questions about what he does because a lot of times he'll pop in and out of the videos and he's in his scrubs and he's actually in medical sales. So that's what he does. And then we also have a chocolate lab named Cooper, which you will see in and out of my videos as well. On my channel, I share lots of cleaning, decorating, and organizing videos. And then I also throw in a lot of mom life related content into my videos as well, just in case anything that has worked for me could help somebody else out. So if you're new here, then I do wanna say welcome. We would love to have you as part of this amazing community that we have built here. So be sure to click the subscribe button and introduce yourself down in the comments so that way we can get to know a little bit about you. And thank you guys so much for being here. I know you are taking time out of your busy day to spend time with me, so I really appreciate it. I love all the support and the feedback. And I love getting to hear your tips and tricks as well down in the comments. So thank you guys so much again for being here. So after I went through all the kids clothes, I figured out what exactly I was wanting to get when I went shopping and I came back and this is the little haul that I have for you. Most of the things that I got for Kaysen were Under Armour. I only got him shirts and I got him a few shirts that he could wear with like khaki pants and then the rest of them are Under Armour like sports athletic type shirts. 
So this is literally all I bought him. Obviously you could see that my kids had plenty of clothes. So now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and lay out his clothes for the first week of school. And he actually did decide which shirts he wanted to wear on what days. And then I just threw a pair of shorts with each one to make it a complete outfit. Now last year I actually made these organizers for their closets. This has been such a game changer and so awesome for helping the kids get ready in the morning. We just take all of their clothes on Sundays and we pick out their outfits and then they put them here in these organizers for Monday through Friday. Now my kids are actually starting back school on a Tuesday so for this week we are only doing Tuesday through Friday and I just take their clothes, stick them in here and then I will actually take their socks and any other accessories that they have for their outfit and throw them in each cubby. This definitely makes our mornings run much more smoothly. Now here is the little haul of all the clothes that Gracie June got. These four dresses I actually got off of ThreadUp. They are the J. Crew, the kids brand. It's called Cruise Cuts. I got them all off of ThreadUp for less than 15 bucks each and they are so stinking cute. She can actually wear these to school or church. So these dresses were a great find. And then these little outfits here, the shorts and the tank tops are all from Gap. So I got her three pairs of shorts. She actually picked out all of this stuff herself. And then I got her just a couple of tank tops to go with these shorts. So here's a look at them. They are so stinking cute. And of course we have a little thing for tie dye apparently because she picked out two pairs of shorts, one are jean, and then these are just like a comfy material, cotton material. So, um, and they're both blue, which is funny, but she picked those out. And then the last thing we got were these little leopard shoes from Old Navy. And then this dress here, which I figured she could wear this into the fall. So now moving into her closet and you can see she has the same little organizer here. I just made it with my Cricut. I cut some vinyl out last year and put this whole organizer together. And I did share it in my video for back to school prep from last year too. So I'll link that one down in the description box in case you wanna see exactly how I made these. And then now I'm just putting all of her clothes in her cubbies with all of the accessories and anything else that she needs to wear with her outfit. The next thing I'm gonna do is label their school supplies and then I also bought some canvas totes that I'm gonna to use to create some teacher gifts for back to school. Now I went the easy route this year when ordering school supplies and just ordered them all through Walmart and did a quick Walmart pickup and it was so easy. So now I've pulled out my Cricut Maker and I'm ready to start making some labels. And this year I decided instead of just using vinyl, I'm gonna make some print and cut stickers. So I'll be using the printable sticker paper to cut out all the labels that I made here in Cricut Design Space. And I wanted to show you really quickly how I make these labels. So the first thing I did was create a new project and then I went to images and actually searched labels. Here you'll see I have a bazillion different labels to choose from. You can also search in projects too and you'll have some different projects already created. Now to get the little pictures that I wanted on their labels, I also did the same exact thing. I went to images, searched baseball, and you'll see there's lots of different baseball images. I did the same thing with cheerleading. So once I had the labels and the pictures that I wanted, I created the text and then all you do is just layer it. And here you can see I'm just putting the baseball, Kaysen's name on top of my label. And then I'm gonna select all of this label that I wanted to create, right click, and then I'm gonna click the word flatten. And this is going to turn my label into a print and cut label. Once I have all my labels ready, I can click make project and then it's going to ask me to send my labels to my printer. And I have an HP printer. I'm just gonna print it out on sticker paper and this is what your labels will look like when it comes out of the printer. Next, I put my sticker paper on my mat and for the sticker paper and any cardstock type things, I always use the light grip mat. So that's what I'm gonna do here. And you'll see there's actually a black box that it printed all the way around my labels. And this is just so when I get ready to load my mat into my Cricut, it can recognize those black squares and know exactly where to cut. Now I figured out after some trial and error that if I select adhesive foil as my material, it does the best job at cutting out sticker paper. 
Now my Cricut is gonna do all the work for me and cut out all of my little labels. So that way all I have to do now is just peel the label off and stick them to the school supplies. Now, if you're interested in the Cricut that I have, I have the Cricut Maker, and I will actually link it down in my description box, but you can also go to Cricut.com and check out all of their machines there. And here's a little close up of how all of Gracie June's labels turned out after I labeled all of her school supplies. And then now I'm gonna start on labeling caissons. Now I'm going to label their folders and their notebooks. And for their notebooks, I actually created some little notebook covers. I found these free Lily inspired prints, which I will link these down in the description box. And I'm gonna show you how I customize these for the kids' notebook covers. So the first thing I do is insert the image into design space and then customize the size of my cover. Now you can change the size just by clicking the little unlock button down in the left corner of whatever your image is and then change it to whatever you want the size to be. Next, I click add text and I'm putting Gracie June's name in here and then I can even change the font and the size of the text that I put in here as well. All of the fonts that I'm using in today's video, I actually downloaded these from Etsy, so I'll include that link too in case you wanna check out these fonts. Now once I have my font and then the size that I want my text to be, I can actually change the color of my text as well just by going up to the little color bar. And then if I don't see the exact color that I want, I just click advanced and then I can use this little palette here to figure out exactly which color I want it to be. Just like the labels, once it's how I want it, I will select all of it and then right click and click flatten and now it's going to be a print and cut file just like my labels that I did earlier. So I ended up making a whole bunch of different covers and all the ones for caissons I actually customized myself. I used all images from Cricut Design Space and created these. So if you wanna use them and you have a Cricut, then I will leave a link to this actual project down in my description box and then you can just use that link and you can customize these labels for yourself. So now that all of my covers are printed, my Cricut's done all the cutting for me, all I have to do is peel and stick them onto the covers of their notebooks. Now, I know this project is so extra, but my kids were so excited about them. They loved all the different covers that I made for them and were really excited about showing their friends at school. Yeah, 
Now for the two pocket folders, I went a lot more basic. I made a little monogram for Gracie June's folders and then a label with just Kason's name on it for his. You've told me more than once to show you my intention. My brain gets blocked at times, but now somehow I'll give you my attention. You've got to know that I, I ain't a person who understands. Now the next thing on my back to school prep list is to wash the kids book bags and these book bags have lasted us so long. Gracie June has had the same book bag since pre-K and she's going into third grade and then Kaysen has had his same one since second grade. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull anything and everything out of the book bags to make sure that they're empty and then I'm using my little handheld vacuum here to vacuum any crumbs or dirt or anything else that is hiding down inside of the book bags. Now at first I was just going to hand wash these so I put together some hot water and a little bit of Dawn dish soap and I used a rag. I wiped down all the inside and all the outside of both of the book bags. But when I was done I decided to go ahead and run them through the washing machine anyways on a delicate cycle with cold water and then I let them air dry when they were done. Now the next thing on my list was to get our homework station set up and also snacks ready for the first week of school, but my kitchen was a bit of a disaster, so I wanted to get this area cleaned up first before I could start working on those other two things. So if you're in need of some cleaning motivation today, this is the perfect part of the video for you. So I'm going to start by putting away all of the kids stuff first and I have this little basket here. I'm just going to throw all the kids stuff in this basket. Anything that they need to go put away, I'll throw it in here and then they can go take it upstairs and put it back where it belongs. I'll be there if you reach out to me. Now that all the clutter is put away, I'm going to go ahead and start putting away all the dishes here that have been sitting on the drying rack and then I'm also going to unload our dishwasher and put those dishes away too. Next, I'm going to wash any dishes that need to be washed by hand and I'm using the Dawn Power Wash here. This stuff is awesome. I've been talking about it a lot recently. I really love this product. So definitely try this one out if you haven't tried it already. 
And I'm starting with washing this big pot. We actually boiled some peanuts earlier in the day. And so you're gonna see my stove top in just a minute. It was a big mess from boiling peanuts. And I'm gonna be cleaning that up as well. Okay, so here's the mess we've made on our stove top from boiling the peanuts. So I'm gonna clean this up really quick. And the product that I use all the time here on my stove is the Method Degreaser. I feel like it does a really, really good job at getting all of that caked up water and food and anything else that has burned onto the stove top. It makes it really easy to clean up. So after I spray a good bit of that on, I will take a wet sponge and I will start just working all of the stuff off of the stove top, breaking all of that up, and then I will wipe it all off with a microfiber cloth. Now I'm back over at my sink and I'm gonna actually clean my sink out. And before I do that, I do wanna clean off my little caddy that keeps my sponges, my dish brush, all that kind of stuff over here on my sink. So I'm gonna clean that off first and then I'm gonna clean out the inside of my sink. So first I'm washing the inside of my sink with the Dawn Power Wash, and then I'm gonna actually pull out the pink stuff. I've used this before in some videos, but this stuff works really good at keeping my sinks really white. So if I notice any um, discoloration on the inside of my sink, then I will just pull this stuff out and it gets it right out. It works so great. I'm here now. 
Now my sink's all clean and I'm gonna put my caddy back over here on the top of my sink. And I do get questions about this caddy all the time. I got it from Grove Collaborative and I love it because it keeps all my sponges, all my brushes and everything that I use to clean dishes and in the inside of my sink right here in one spot. Now for my granite countertops, I'm using the Caldrea countertop spray. I also get this from Grove Collaborative and then all of my Method and Mrs. Myers products I get from Grove Collaborative as well. Now this is my all time favorite cleaner for all of my stainless steel appliances. This is the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner, which you can actually use this cleaner all over your kitchen on all of the surfaces and it works as a degreaser as well, but it is my favorite for my appliances. Plenty, plenty, plenty of time. We are young and we got plenty of time. And I've got nothing else but you and my mind. Now the last cleaner that I'm gonna use here in the kitchen is the Method Wood Cleaner. I use this on my wood countertops and here's a little um, peek at what it looks like underneath my kitchen sink. I actually organized this in a video in the past and organizing videos are some of my all time favorite videos to make. I feel like they are so satisfying and I just love seeing a project from beginning to end. So if you want to see how I reorganized underneath my kitchen sink or even some of my other organization videos, I'll link those down in the description box for you. Okay, now we're moving into the breakfast area. I'm going to put these little koozies that I got from Amazon up and spray this table down with the Mrs. Myers multi-surface spray. And then over there on my little hutch, I'm actually going to clean all of that up and this is where we're going to have our homework station. Won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I've gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. No, it is way too late, but I just can't get my eyes of you. Maybe we will regret this, but tomorrow is another day. Anything to get your love. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in. So wish me good luck. Yeah, I've gotta put on my favorite song. I need a boost. Let's turn up the love. Because it's on. Now this is the drawer that I'm going to be using as our homework station and I have a bunch of awards and art projects and things that are just stashed away in here from last school year. I have not put those up yet and I actually have a bin for each of my kids to save all of their favorite art projects and awards and things like that which I'll show you guys in just a few minutes. But first I'm just cleaning all of this out because not only do I have the art projects and awards but I also have things that we used for doing our homework last year. So I want to get this cleared out and make it more functional and just more organized for them to use for homework this year. 
So for our homework station, I just have a couple of acrylic containers to keep all of our supplies. We have pencils, crayons, scissors, glue, and math fact um, flashcards. And then I'm also gonna put a composition notebook and then a couple of notepads in case we need any of this for homework. Keep my fingers crossed, oh yeah, it's on. If you're wondering what's in this other drawer that's in our hutch, I'll show you really quick. It's got a clipboard, and then I also have some little dinner games and conversation starter type things that we use during dinner. I want you there right by my side, baby, please, to hold me tight throughout the night. Hey, won't you pour me another? I'm going in, so wish me good luck. And in case you're wondering, our kids use this little chair over here in the corner to store their book bags. Now, instead of shoving artwork and papers that come home into that drawer, I'm gonna actually use this hanging file organizer to put their artwork until I get ready to go put it back into the organized containers that they go in. And then of course, any signed papers or anything can go in here until we have them signed and put back in their folders. Yeah, I gotta put on my favorite song. Okay, so the last thing I'm going to do in this area is quickly do a vacuum because I know I have thrown crumbs and other things all over the floor while I was cleaning. So I'm going to vacuum that up really quick and then I'm going to show you our school bins that where we keep all of their artwork and everything organized from each school year. All right, so here is a quick look at the kids' school bins. This is where I keep all of their artwork that we've saved and awards, school pictures, um, sports pictures, everything. And I just have their names here on the side. And when you open it up, I have these hanging file folders. And on the tabs, I have each grade level going all the way through 12th grade. Now on the front of each of these file folders, I also have their school picture for the year, which is so fun to go back and look at all of these. These are Gracie June's and I'll show you Kaysen's too. It's just crazy how time flies and how different they look each school year. Now for last school year, they actually did not even take school pictures at the beginning of the year. So I do still need to print off a few pictures that I took of them at the beginning of the school year and I'm gonna put it on those. But here are Kaysen's pictures and it's so crazy to me how different he looks from second to third grade. Like he looks like he grew about two years in one year. <laughs> Now I also have extra school pictures inside of each of the file folders and then I also have their class pictures for each year. Awkward. And then here in the back of each of their containers I have an extra file folder for other items like sports pictures and I also have their Dr. Seuss books that the teachers sign at the end of the school year. So these are just some extra things and it's just a place for me to put it if I don't have anywhere else to organize it. And if you're wanting to make these and you have a Cricut, I'll leave a link to my Cricut project where I created these little labels for the file folders in case you wanna download it and print them out and cut them out for yourself. All right, and now I'm gonna show you how I did the snacks, how I prepped all of this for the first week of school. This is all stuff that we're gonna be keeping in our pantry. And my kids love having like mixed little trail mixes for school snacks. So I put all of these together for the first week of school so that way on the morning of school or even the night before, we can just grab these, throw them in their book bags, and they're ready to go. I also have a bunch of other little snacks that they can eat for school snacks here in this basket as well. Now here in this next basket, these are all snacks that could also be for school or for after school. So I've got a lot of granola bars, kind bars, um, some crackers, Z bars, all kinds of different things in here. But mostly the, they eat these after school just because they like the trail mixes for their snacks at school. 
Now this basket here is also for after school snacks, but I can use some of this stuff to put in their trail mixes if I want to. The gum we have in this basket, but that's mainly for baseball games. We have some yogurt covered raisins, some Cheez-It snack mix, some regular Cheez-Its, and then I also have individual bags of goldfish. So these can be after school snacks, or I could put some of this stuff in their trail mixes for school. And then here in this last basket is mostly sunflower seeds. I do have some little marshmallows because I didn't have room for them anywhere else and some protein bites, but most of this is sunflower seeds for baseball tournaments. Now I thought I would go ahead and since I showed you all of my snack baskets and everything, I would show you where we keep them. This is our pantry, it's not very big. So I did a whole pantry organization video a while back. I'll link that down below in case you wanna see how I organized it. But all the labels and everything I made with my Cricut and I love the way that our pantry is organized. I feel like it works really, really well for us. And she would try to act cool. But it was obvious, like, ooh. All right, moving on to the next project is making back to school teacher gifts. And I love doing tote bags for back to school because teachers are always carrying things to and from school. They're always working after work and need to bring home those graded papers or planners or anything else. So I decided to make these cute little canvases. I found the rainbow image in Cricut Design Space, and I will actually link this project as well down in the description box. So if you have a Cricut, you can actually make this yourself and personalize it however you want. Now for this project, all I did was cut out the heat transfer vinyl, and when you cut heat transfer vinyl, you do wanna make sure you mirror the image before you cut it. And then I'm using my Cricut Easy Press to actually press the vinyl onto the canvas tote. These bags turned out so cute and for the inside of the bag I actually included some flare pins, teachers love flare pins, and then also some Astro Brights um, colored paper. Now both of these things were actually on their Amazon wish list, but both of these things are great teacher gifts. Teachers are constantly copying they love colored paper, they love these flare pins, and I ended up just putting the Clorox wipes in these bags as well so that it was easy for the kids to carry in. But some other ideas to put into the, these bags would be gift cards or if your teacher gives out some of their favorites, like their favorite snacks or drinks, things like that, you could easily add these into their little gift. Write me a love song, cause I know you'll make it so while I had my heat press out, I wanted to put these little patches that I got on Gracie June's pencil pouch. I got these little patches off of Amazon. They were super cheap, so I'll link these below. And then her pencil pouch actually came from Target. But I've been seeing these bags with patches on them all over the place lately, but they're super expensive. So if you buy them from Etsy, they're gonna be a lot more pricey than if you were to DIY them. So I got the pencil pouch from Target for $6 and then put these little patches on here from Amazon. And I got, I think 72 of them for like 13 bucks and I only ended up using two of the patches. So I'll have them to do some other DIYs later. And now that I have all of their school supplies together, I'm gonna go ahead and pack them all up into their book bags for the first day of school. Call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am your oars Cause I want you so another thing that I do for back to school prep is make sure that I have all of my meals planned out for the week and I made sure to go shopping for these beforehand. But you'll notice on Monday we are doing a casserole because before the first day of school I always like to do a big casserole so that way on the first day of school we can have leftovers. So I made chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole. This was the night before school. We had a big serving of it, and then we had a ton left over, so we were actually able to have leftovers on the first day of school. Now this recipe is one that I do from memory because we make it so much, so I will actually type out the entire recipe and leave it in the description box for you in case you wanna try this one out. Now the next thing I'm gonna do is decorate for our back to school breakfast. This is a little tradition that we do every single year, and the kids absolutely love it. 
And if you watched my video for back to school prep from last year, I actually used these balloons and I was going to try to reuse them. And so I went to blow them up and there were a few letters that didn't quite make it from last year. So I ended up having to make a little banner, which I'll show you guys in just a few minutes. But I was able to use the balloons that said school, just not the other balloons that went with back to. He looked at her and then he smiled. So each year I try to do something a little different and this year I made a ruler out of this butcher paper that we already had. I used it to actually wrap our Christmas presents this past year. So that took me about a minute to make, seriously like so quick. And then I have some plates, some napkins, and then I made these little flags on Cricut Design Space, which I will actually link these below too. And then I also made a PDF for you guys if you want to actually just print it out and cut it and you don't have a Cricut. Now the cups I've been using for years, I got from Dollar Tree. And then the straws are from Amazon. I've had a huge pack of them, so I slowly use those for Christmas, for any kind of little breakfast that we have. And then you saw the school banner was good to go. And then this little banner I actually found already made on Pinterest and I threw it into Cricut Design Space, made it into a print and cut file, and then just cut it out with my Cricut. And this is what I love about my Cricut is that it only took me five minutes to do this entire project because I did not have to cut these things out by hand by myself. It was all done for me with the print and cut feature. I started writing probably something about her eyes and how they're always shining or something cliche like now for the breakfast, I picked up these glazed donuts from the Publix Bakery and I wanted to make them look like apples. So I took some confection sugar, some milk, mixed it together and then put in some food coloring, some red food coloring to make it look like the color of an apple and then just kind of spread that over the donuts. It was so easy to do and they turned out adorable. So I'm gonna show you in just a second what they look like. So we have made it to the first day of school and they are ready to enjoy their back to school breakfast. We have their teacher's gifts laid out for them. The book bags are all packed and ready to go. And this little breakfast turned out so stinking cute. Gracie June absolutely loved her apple donut and Kaysen actually chose to eat the chocolate glazed donut instead. But look how cute they are. I just took a pretzel and then a green M&M to make it look like the stem and the leaf. And then Chance and I also wrote little notes for the kids for back to school for the first day. And I actually printed out and cut the notes out with my Cricut as well. Now, if you want to see what we've done for the previous years for our back to school breakfast, I'll link all of those videos down in the description box. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully it motivated you guys to get prepped for back to school, gave you some ideas. And also if you're needing any of these files or printables or links to anything, definitely check the description box because I'll put all of that stuff down there for you. Now, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and say hey in the comments. And I hope all of your kiddos have an amazing school year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Calling each other sweetheart. I promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show. They're in love now and I wanted you to know.